Hi, Pisces. This is the general reading for the sign of Pisces. This reading um, will resonate uh, or could resonate with anyone who has Pisces strongly in their chart. Um, please remember, Pisces people, um, that we are all, um, we all have different personalities. We all come from different backgrounds and we are different ages. So um, from my perspective, it is unlikely that everyone will resonate with this, with this reading. Um, my beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It is wonderful to have you here, and I'm happy to be here as well. Um, I'm going to do a little bit different format this week. I am looking at three different categories of um, interest <clears throat> because of um, the situation that's going on around us right now um, within w around the world. I'm going to be looking into money and resources, health and well-being, and love, and that could include family, friends, or romance. Um, in the extended reading, I'm going to be looking at the people who are around you, and also I'll go one more step forward into the future, um, money and resources, health and well-being, and love. Um, so I will be uh, doing a little bit of shuffling here as I look into the three different focus groups that we'll have, and um, uh, let me see if there's anything else. And, you know, it's, 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 as a reader, it can be, it can, I can feel responsible um, if I bring out a reading and somebody makes a life decision based on a general reading. I, sometimes I feel um, this can be somewhat in intimidating to do this because I do not um, wish anyone to um, take this information on as, as something to make a, make a big decision about. Um, and we know that there's a large group of Pisces people here. So please, um, I realize that I'm going into general energies of a consciousness of a group of people. So um, just please um, remember that as I move forward. All right, going into money and resources for, first, let's see how money and resources is going to pan out in the, in um, as I go into the general energy um, for the next few weeks. So we're looking at money and resources for the next few weeks for the sign of Pisces. Money and resources for the next few weeks for the sign of Pisces. Money and resources for the next few weeks for the sign of Pisces. All right. Okay, let's see what's here. Um, for money and resources, we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So um, we're talking, we have two fours here, a six, and a six. So um, Pisces, um, there is an energy of, of stability here. Um, we have the Four of Wands, which talks about um, shelter. So you could be um, really budgeting. Um, you could be coming up with agreements with your workplace um, or trying to figure out how you're going to create um, a shelter, um, some some place safe for for your money and the resources that are around your, you, your assets and liabilities, um, securing your home, making sure that you have um, a comfortable place to be um, for the next few weeks. Um, some people are um, sheltering in in places um, separate from their family. If they perhaps work in the travel industry or in the medical field, they might be um, finding shelter, and this could have to do with the resources around them or the money that's around them. So, but the four energies are energies of stability. So, I really like that. I, I mean, I think that with the four of wands here. It tells that there's some kind of a foundation here that's going to bring stability. Um, so that's a really good energy when you connect it with money. You also have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles talks about the energy of having or the, the situation of having enough money um, to pay your bills, maybe put a little bit of away for savings, and then have some money um, to maybe go out into the community and participate in the community in some way, whether that's a, that's in purchasing power or in, in charitable work or, or being um, a contributor in some way. Um, the fact that the Six of Pentacles is here, I mean, it's not the Ten of Pentacles, but I don't think anyone these days are really asking for the Ten of Pentacles. I think um, most people would be will be satisfied with the Six, which talks about harmony and balance. Um, so I think for for the group of you, there's going to be um, uh, enough enough to to make it uh, to go around um, with the Six of Pentacles, and I like that the Six is here also um, because that means that there there is going to be money um, here amongst this group of Pisces people um, that you can um, do something or participate in some way in your community um, and help in some way with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a generous energy. So however you can participate, I think there's going to be some of you that are going to be able to do that. Remember to only do that um, if you have the capacity. 
Um, if you um, have the ability to help financially or help with a talent that you have or um, some sort of skill that you've acquired, um, that is wonderful. If you, if you, if, if you can't, that is fine too. Um, it's only, it is only necessary to step forward in that way if you have the capacity to do that and if you have the health to do that. Remember, it's important to keep your mask on. Um, if you're in the airplane and um, there's turbulence or the airplane has an issue, they always tell you as a passenger to make sure to secure your own oxygen mask first. Because if you run out of oxygen, oxygen you will be of no use to help if you can't breathe yourself. So remember now, as you're moving forward, um, to stay stable, to make sure that you have your own stability and to focus on that first um, so that you can stay um, equipped with what you need to be safe and healthy um, as you move forward. We also have the Four of Swords here, Pisces, and that talks about resting, um, coming to a resting place, healing, um, settling in. It's, again, there's two fours here, coming in out of the battle, coming in out of the outside, um, connecting into the divine energy, connecting into your um, spiritual system, your religious system, your team that's around you, whether they are visible or invisible, connecting into that, connecting into yourself, and um, and really um, receiving a renewal by doing that. Um, th this is a period of time to quiet the mind, to quiet the body, and really um, look around and, and see the world that's around you. And um, sometimes when we come in out of the battle, uh, we can be scarred from the battle. We can be scarred from the outside world. And then when we um, sit back and we rest and we look out um, in our environment in a different way, it's almost like it's a different world. And that's um, the, the message that's coming forward here today. We do have the Nine of Cups here. So um, this is an energy of um, of enjoyment of life. It's not everything. You know, it's not everything that's fulfilling you. There's There's something missing here. There's something missing in this experience, but there's enough to go around here with the Nine of Cups. Um, the Nine of Cups it takes you to um, the ending point of of a of a chapter. So as we move forward in the first few in the in these next few weeks, um, I, there is an energy here of of really looking into what fulfills you, what's going to help you, what's going to keep you um, healthy, what's going to keep you safe. And I think um, there, there are many people here that are going to find that they have all of those resources. They, are, they do have the ability here um, with the resources and the money to keep themselves um, safe and protected um, in, in a very basic way. Um, the fact that there's a nine here and a six here tells me that there is um, going to be people um, and, and events and groups of people that will be extending assistance where they can. And there will be um, enough to go around here for the next few weeks. So um, with money and resources, these are energies that are positive and they're stable. And, and I do feel like there is some excess here. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot, um, but there is some excess. So if there's something you can do to help someone in some capacity, I do see that in these energies as well. Okay, let's look now at health and well-being. Looking at health and well-being. Ooh, okay. All right, so with health and well-being, we do have the Two of Pentacles next to death, um, next to the Tower, next to the Two of Cups. So we we do have some changes coming in. I, I think that there are um, some schedules that are being changed. Some systems are being changed around. Uh, there are routines that are different. There there is change in the air, and there is change to how we experience daily life. The Two of Pentacles, the Pentacles energy is is our daily pr processes, our reality, how we walk on this earth. It's it's what we can touch, see, feel, and hear. It does impact um, our lives on a daily basis. It's, it's our reality. What we can put our hands on and what we do during the day is the pentacles energy. Um, it, it is an energy of change. Um, there are lots of energies of change happening. You'll notice here that it does look like a number eight, and that talks about strength. So these could be strong changes that are being made. It's nothing that is lackadaisical. It's nothing that is soft and easy. These are changes that are powerful changes, and they will affect the lives of people. 
Um, when we have changes like this coming in, there are many people that um, go through transformational energies. Um, there are big changes going on in the world around us. Um, there will be people who suffer here with the death energy. There will be people who get sick and they suffer, and there will also be people where their lives are changed forever, whether it's in employment, whether it is in a system, whether it is with medical facilities or in the way we transport medicines or in the way that we um, consider the way we do education in our countries. There are transformational energies everywhere. This is a, this is a time of transformation where there is endings to certain processes and beginnings of new ways of thinking outside the box. So whether there is um, changes, the, there are going to be changes where there's endings and new beginnings. Um, this is a very scorpionic energy, so it could go quite deep within us, this change. Um, it, it's not an easy change. These are not easy changes to be made. I think the death energy does really stretch our endurance. Our endurance. It can stretch um, our capacities, but with the death energy, there always is a new beginning and there always is a restart to something. So we're, we're talking here about people that are going to experience emotional toll. They're going to experience um, their, their bodies um, working to overcome. They're going to experience tiredness, exhaustion, anxiety, because there is a big um, change coming in here with the tower. Um, there, there is an energy here of shock and surprise, um, an energy of even, um, well, you, when you have the death energy next to the tower, I mean, you're talking about some big changes here. Um, there, there is, there is partnership though, which is a recovery energy. It's a nice energy to have. I just want to go down into the tower here and see if we can get a little bit more information on this tower energy. Three of cups. Seven of cups. Let me get one more energy here. Six of Cups. Let's look at the death energy. Eight of Swords. It might be hard to come up with new ideas and think differently. The Eight of Swords talks about a, um, a pattern, a cycling that is like an old system. It's, it has you trapped in an old way. So I think there's going to be um, systems and industries and family um, processes and maybe old habits and the way we've done things for a long time, they're going to need to be transformed. And this could cause, we could, it could take us a little while to figure out how to transform and how to move through this situation. Um, we might have to change the way we think with the sword energy, four of cups. We're not going to like it either. Change is hard. We're not going to like it with the Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. Yeah, it's going to, it's not, it, it's, it's like this was forced upon us as a Pisces from the viewpoint. This, this is something from a well-being standpoint that was forced upon us. It was not um, received um, voluntarily. It is much more comfortable to go through change when it is a voluntary change, when it is something that we welcome. Um, it's time for change. It's good to change. Um, we're welcoming change. We're excited for change. This is something that um, was not um, asked for. This is something that was not, um, a, um, it was not received in a, um, this is something that was being forced, uh, forced. It's a forced change. And there's there they, these are very uncomfortable energies around this death energy, and because it's a forced change and it comes with this energy of theft, like like a thief in the night. Um, it could because of this kind of betrayal energy that's here with this death energy. Um, it could be emotionally destabilizing for some time. Um, and there might be just an energy of really not knowing what to do or just not being happy with anything. An energy of just not knowing what to do, not knowing how to 
deal with this. So people could, could be going over the next few weeks, could be going through a period of time of like real apathy. Like, you know what? This is, this is something that came out of the blue. This is something that we didn't ask for. This is stealing from me. This is taking from me. This, this is something that impacted my life when I um, was doing a good job or when everything was going well. And now all of a sudden um, I'm in a situation and I don't really know what to do about it. This kind of a feeling with death energy. I'm going to take these cards back because these are some heavy energies. With the tower, it does look like there are um, there are a lot of different choices to be made with the tower um, about how we, the Three of Cups is reunion with people, getting together with people, um, how we operate as family units, how we um, celebrate our lives, how we, how we um, get together. It's a family joy energy. It's a building kind of energy as we create processes and systems and as we build our emotional happiness and our emotional structures in our life, we're usually doing that with people, with the people around us. And, um, and it does talk about a, an energy of well-being as well with the three. Um, so we have the seven next to it, which talks about, um, a lot of, a lot of different options, so many different choices, and not really sure which way to go or what to think because nobody can see into any of the cups. You know, these cups are, um, they're far away from us so that they're hard to see and they're hard to look into. Um, the options that are ahead are hard to choose because no one knows even what those options are. No one knows what they are going to look like. So um, this is why the tower is here. There's, there needs to be decisions that are made here and um, it, it's really hard when you have the seven of cups where you don't really know how to make decisions um, because the these choices and these options are so far away and they're and they're so vague and um, it's such a new experience here with the death energy next to the tower we do have the six of cups here so this is about family this is about what you hold dear this is about what connects with the soul of who you are who your family is what you're doing and what you're dedicated to so there's going to be um it's going to be necessary for for many people to make decisions now um around family um maybe um decisions about around family that perhaps you've not had to make before or perhaps it was the very first time in your life where you had to make such a decision um we do have the two of cups here as well in health and in health and well-being so i want to kind of dig deeper into um, the two of cups energy as well for pisces star energy so it looks like there's healing here there's new destinies Devil. Yeah, see, there's, these are intense energies, Pisces. It's going to require thinking like, um, well, this is an Aquarius energy, the star energy. It's an energy of um, really looking up and out in a new way. Seeing things for what they are and really moving into a healing place. Um, working, um, um, with the universe in a new way, working with other people in a new way and being, being truthful, um, with, with what's happening and what your needs are. We have the devil energy, which is fear and lack of moderation. I do feel that there's going to be healing here with partnerships, whether it's married people, whether it's work partnerships, partnerships within communities, partnerships with, with the governments around the world. There is going to be um, a new destiny, a new pathway um, that's going to begin to build and build over the top of the old structures, the old programming, um, the old fear and egos that were once really um, prevalent. I, it just feels like with the star energy and the devil energy connected to the two of cups that there is a and here is the emperor now. So you could have leaders, leaders overcoming their own ego, stepping forward in a new way um, to really um, show who they actually are. And maybe they're showing their heart centers and maybe they are um, thinking in a different way here as they overcome this devil energy. This is talking about leadership. This is talking about structure. This is talking about a change a change in um, understanding the value of processes, of control, of systematic um, dissemination with the emperor, looking at how to bring abundance in, um, understanding that there needs to be um, hierarchies, there needs to be systems, 
Um, there needs to be people on the ground and people in the offices and people making decisions. And it all needs to work cohesively together. And that's what the emperor does. Um, he, he really can take over in times of uh, when, when things are not in control. He can take over and really um, crack the whip and, and really put things into motion and get and there could be a feeling of control here with the emperor. When things are out of control, the emperor really comes alive and um, really puts restrictions and makes rules. And um, the emperor could even be a spouse or a romantic partner or a boss who is all of a sudden making all these rules and making all these changes because there is a, an energy of crisis. And when there's crisis or when something is out of control, the emperor can very quickly go in the reverse. And I'm not saying the emperor is going to go in the reverse at all, uh, because I think there's a lot of fear and concern here. Um, and because of this fear and concern, um, uh, there is some sort of a passing through the devil energy, which is ego, fear, lack perspective, and moving into the star energy, which is thinking differently, rising up in a new way, finding a new pathway, looking at things um, in, in, a, in a very Aquarius type way, very different kind of energy here. So there could be um, partners within households that are getting together to solve situations, um, partnerships with, between in extended families, um, partnerships between communities, between companies, between states and governments, um, between world continent, you know, continents within the world. This partnership energy can, can move from the very mass population up to the very top um, when we're talking about leadership. Um, so it's it's interesting that we have such intense energies here, um, Pisces. I think the next few weeks, it's going to be important to stay balanced, um, take care of yourself, um, be with your be with who you are with, and 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 find comfort in that. Um, make sure that you have what you need because it's important. These are big and heavy energies for Pisces, and so it's going to be important for you to take care of yourself and stay grounded and um, remember that this is something that we are going to get through. This is something that is going to be um, a, a short term situation, although it can be can create, even though it's short term, short term, quote unquote, um, because some of us, if we get derailed even for a month, it can wreak havoc in our lives. So understanding that this is a big change for, for the Pisces group, that there will be scheduling changes, big changes that are coming in. Um, this is a transformational energy that we're in now. Um, I like that the partnership is here. That's really important, I think, to see. And I like that there's a rising up in a new way. Um, it's almost like people are speaking the truth now. It's it's almost like the truth can't be hidden anymore. That's kind of how it feels to me. All right, let's look at love. Love, family, friends, romance. We have the King of Cups here. That's you, Pisces. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Knight of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here. So Pisces, you can really be in an in an emotional energy. Your moods could be um, all over the place. You could be feeling um, really anxious or tired or really sad. It could really affect you emotionally. We have the King of Cups here. So here is Pisces. This could be a spouse. This could be a um, co-worker. This could be a doctor or a nurse because the King of Cups works to take action to bring in nourishment and vitality and compassion and hope into the environment around him. This can be a woman or a man, but this is a masculine energy of taking action, um, nurturing others, bringing people into health. Um, so this could be you, Pisces, really taking action now in your environment, in your external world to um, bring in um, health and vitality and, and with compassion and care. We have the four of pentacles here. So uh, and next to the eight of cups. So you, you could be really holding on now um, to something that is, is moving uh, apart from you. So there's an energy of uh, energies that are changing around you, Pisces. Um, there it's, it's almost like you're moving away from something that you've been holding on to for a long time. Um, this could be systems within your environment, systems of and processes of working. Um, this could be um, the way that you, the job that you have left. Um, people could be scattering um, and you could be wanting to hold on. You could be really grabbing for um, for your friends and your neighbors and for your um, family. You could be grabbing and holding on. But with the Four of Pentacles, it talks about... Um, the need to let go, the need to release yourself from 
um, whatever you've been holding on to because there is change here. Um, we do have the Knight of Cups energy. So there could be a, even an offer of love. There could be a romance here. Um, there, there could be just an energy of love and compassion and caring for others, healing others, helping others. Uh, so this is a group of people that's going to feel um, a lot of emotion. This is a group of people who are going to feel the love of other people and maybe missing people. I'm trying to hang on to people, I'm trying to wrap your arms around people and hang on. But um, with the Eight of Cups, this is a walking away energy. Um, this is movement away of people, movement away of emotions. Um, a separation. And it can even be temporary. The Eight of Cups doesn't have to be a forever energy. So some of you could be missing your friends. You could be missing your families. You could be working hard in an industry to care and nurture for pe um, people. Or for some of you, there, there could be um, a leaving of a certain situation and then moving forward in an energy of love to, to another situation. This could be a romance. This could be a group of coworkers who really care for each other, but, but the, they, there's a need here to, to um, have some kind of a separation energy. We have a King of Cups, so there could be a masculine um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a masculine emotional energy that's trying to hang on to something. Um, when someone is walking away, they could be hanging on to that person. If we're going into the individual's um, situation, there could be a relationship here that has broken up, has and this person has mo moved on now and is coming forward with, with a romantic offer with the Knight of Cups. Let's look at this Knight of Cups. I'll tell you more about the Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups. I'll tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Magician. Trying to make it happen here with the Knight of Cups. Making it happen. There's a lot of different ways to, to bring this energy of love forward. <coughs> This could be healing other people. There's a lot of ways you can heal and care for others. There's a lot of ways you can that you can bring compassion and care into your own life. This is thinking of new ways and doing new things with the magician, taking action in a new way, inventing, creating, coming up with new strategies, coming up with new tools, new ways of doing things. I think I just said that. Could be offering your services um, and your abilities to other people or to organizations. It's interesting how this Seven of Cups, I, I just feel like it kind of connects in with this Eight of Cups. There, there are changes in systems here. There are changes to systems that, that have cost a lot of money, that have taken the time and effort of a lot of people. And there's a lot of unknown here with the Seven of Cups. This is the energy of the unknown. There are options and there are ways of doing it, but but it's really unknown which way is best and which way it's going to continue. There's a lot of unknown here, but but with this energy of love, of really truly working hard to bring all kinds of different resources together um, to create something new and different that will apply, that will be um, be successful in this experience. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Emotional change. Something happened that has created a change. It, it could be really hard to let go of this situation. Really hard to let go. It could be emotionally difficult to let go. Two of Cups, partnership, friends, friends, neighbors, coworkers. Lovers even, perhaps, people are separating or people are going off on their own way or, or, or creating distance between each other. And this is, this, is a, this is a five energy, so it's uncomfortable emotions. Not really sure what the best thing to do is, but, but knowing there has to be a change. Uncomfortable emotions here with the Five of Cups, connected in with partners, coworkers, families, 
neighbors, friends, partnership, connected heart to heart though. So it's not just any partnership. It's not just any friend or acquaintance. It's, it's, it's family, it's lovers, it's, it's coworkers that really believe strongly about what they're doing. There's a change here, but there is a desire to hold on, but there's a change and it's going to, it's going to be emotional here um, for, for this group of Pisces people. All right, let's look for some guidance now, just a couple of energies of guidance, and then we'll, then I'll move to the extended. Just a couple of energies of guidance. We have the hermit and the world energy. The hermit energy is, is really, um, the hermit um, goes through something, he goes through something that, that, is a, that is an experience that's difficult or an experience that he is confused by or he's not sure what, what this experience is, is, is for or why it's happening. And he goes um, all out uh, alone um, in, into a, a very isolated place. Um, usually it's isolated or, or it's, a, it's a very quiet place and he spends time, whether it's a day, whether it's two weeks or three weeks, um, really reflecting on the experience that he just went through, um, looking at what um, went wrong and why it went wrong, um, what can be done next time, what can, what can this person do now, and he comes back out with new ideas, a new way of working, a new way of walking. So there are people now that are really hunkered down. Um, whether whether it is individuals that are hunkered down trying to figure out what they're going to do or what the situation is or whether it's corporations that are taking on the energy of the hermit. Um, but with the hermit, there's usually a, um, a coming back out um, with ideas, with new ways of thinking, new ways of working. Um, it's a beautiful energy. It's a logical, rational, um, very grounded energy that takes a little while to come up with a solution. It's not a solution that comes forward quickly. It's a solution that is thought of carefully um, re, uh, um, from all different angles with the hermit energy, and then it's brought forward um, back out of the cave um, into the community. With the world energy, it's an energy of, of starting something new, um, building something new, experiencing new um, um, situations that um, help us understand that there's a new horizon here, there's a new beginning here in a big, broad sense of the word. Um, it is something that maybe has been in the works for a little while. You see a, a lady here has just had a baby. She's just um, given birth. And as we know, um, people who are pregnant or any living being who is pregnant, um, it does take some time for the growth of the fetus. And so this this is a situation that was, has been um, growing um, with within um, something like the baby grows within her. Um, th this is a situation that's been brewing, that's been growing, and now it's it's coming forward. Um, and so there is a a new day, a new dawn, a new beginning with the world energy here. And even though it's going to be tough, even though it's going to be hard, um, especially for certain groups of people, it's going to be really hard. Um, there is a new day here, and I think that there is an expansive new beginning that's going to really um, permeate through many different systems, systems of travel, of food processing, um, of caretaking, of medicine, um, so many different ways that this is going to create new beginnings. Um, so that's the guidance that's coming forward for you, Pisces. I'm going to move now into the extended reading. In the extended reading, we are going to look at the people who are around you and their, per and their pers and perspectives. And we're going to take one more step forward into the next few months to see um, and see if we can get more more information about money and resources, health and well-being and love, family, friends and romance. All right. Thank you very much, Pisces. It's always a pleasure to read for you. I'll be back next week with another reading. Um, I'm, I'm gradually getting back to strength now and maybe sounding more like myself um, than I was just a couple of weeks ago. So it's a pleasure to be here. All right. Moving to the extended now. Thanks, everyone. I hope everyone stay, stays safe. Thank you.